in light of the situation that has just happened, I felt I needed to do to the blog. Haters go and hate. Now I have to say, love my haters. They're my biggest fans. They love me so much I'm on their mind all the time. They can't help they're like, oh I hate her. What do I have to do to do something worse to her? So let's let's leave her a hate comment. Because in all honestly, the only person who can get me down is myself. So you can leave all the hate comments you want. A they make me laugh. B I'll just probably piss you off by saying thank you or some something along those lines. So, and if for every comment and view you leave, that makes my page go up. So, just by you viewing, thank you! By you leaving a comment, every comment adds up, and I will eventually, eventually end up on the most discussed board. So, keep leaving the hater comments. They're making me famous. Yay! Um, and you can call me ugly. Been there, done that. I'm 21 and a half. Yes, I said half. I still count halves. I've dealt with it for about 21 years of my life. I have both sides of the scale. Oh my god, you're so beautiful. Oh my god, you're so ugly. Oh my god, are you a model? You should just walk around with a bag on your head. Really, honestly, I've been through it all. Don't care. I, I applaud the people who are really nice and all like, oh, you're so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Some people call me ugly. Thank you, because you make me stronger. Um, if it, if it wasn't for my crappy upbringing and rude people and name calling throughout my entire life, I'd probably be a softie and crying right now, going, oh my god, they called me these names. Don't care. You. Because honestly, haters gonna hate. It's just, it's what they do. They make you famous. I mean, honestly, like Paris Hilton or whatever, I'm pretty sure no one really actually even likes her, but they're all like, I hate her so much, she's famous now. Let's have her stuff, I know. So like, everyone makes fun of Snooki, and Snooki's like, awesome. Really, she's just being her. She's just like anybody else, she's just, other people aren't on camera, so it's, it's not bad when they aren't on camera. But when you go and see people on cops, they're all like, oh, that's so funny. What's the difference? I don't know. But, you know, I, th I think it's pretty funny. They're all like, I think you're ugly, and you're stupid, and... You're fat, blah blah blah. First of all, I'm not fat. I know I'm not fat. So y'all can call me whatever you want. I have my own image of myself. So you can see what you want to see, and I'll see what I want to see. You see the glass half empty. I buy a new jug of milk. We'll call it a day. I can't help that you're upset because people are better than you. I mean, really, hate is just envy. It's, co it's covered up, so I'm sorry. You kind of envy me. Um, I hope the particular person who left the comment on my last vlog watches this vlog because I love you for leaving comments. You're so nice. You're beautiful. Um, and I'm sorry for any torture you've gone through while you were in school or any childhood trauma you've been through. I mean, like, rape or whatever, what may have happened. I mean, like, being picked on, bullied, parents neglect, whatever happened to you, I'm sorry, but... You should really just move on. I mean, it's really it's happened to the best of us. I mean, I was definitely neglected by my parents. I mean, my parents are just like, oh, yeah, the kid, let's go drinking at the bar. We're going to leave you with your uncle. It's, it's sad when you don't know who the fuck your parents are the first couple years of your life. I mean, you're only a half dead mollusk. It's whatever. It's whatever. Wait, no, that was just me. No, man, I forgot. I was born dead. It's cool. You know, it's about drinking. That seems like a plausible idea. Oh, you're old enough to walk? You want to come to the bar with us? It's great. Sit in this booth, don't move. For real, you know? Like, we've all endured hardships. Why you gotta make it harder than anybody else? Can't you just be nice? Being nice is, is awesome. Because, you know, peace is the best thing to do. Because, like, honestly, why you gotta be mean? I mean, you don't go around... Would you honestly come to my, like, to me in person, to my face, and go, you're stupid and ugly? I mean, maybe you would, because you're a really bad person like that, but I'd probably still laugh at you and come up with the same response. I'd probably just thank you and laugh, smile, whatever. I mean, honestly, you're not going to get me down. I have my own problems, and which would make me sad or upset or angry, and you saying that, no, not so much. Um, so I'm going to give a shout out to my haters. Because they, they love me. They're my biggest fans. They think I'm awesome. 
Um, thank you for the view, because obviously you had to have viewed one of my videos to think something. Um, I, I guess, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. I mean, really, you can leave whatever opinion you want. It doesn't bother me. So, I mean, I know I, I have pretty days. I have ugly days. I have, oh my god, I can't even leave my house days. Or I should go out and meet everybody today days. I mean, does anybody have those days? It's, it's life, really. I mean, like... I can't really change who I am or what I am very much or how well I probably can change how I look but I don't really want to pay for that because that's kind of ridiculous. I'm gonna die so it's like oh I'm gonna do this and when you're dead I mean you're just kind of just wasted money really. I think I have better things to spend money on than like plastic surgery or whatever. You're like oh I'm gonna put like 15 pounds of makeup on. I'm like yes I have makeup on. Eyeliner. Woo. How far am I getting with that? Um yes I, I have wrinkles too. I'm okay with that. Smile a lot. You get wrinkles. That happens. Um, given, you know, my voice kind of sounds like mannish. Don't care about that either. Born with it. Can't really fix that one. Can't fix that one with surgery either. It's kind of, it came with, came with the vocal cords. So can't really fix that. Um, hair came with the head. Born, well, actually, I wasn't even born with it. This kind of came later. This came towards kindergarten. I mean, I changed the color. Strawberry blonde, the roots grown in. So I can do with that. I mean, like the color kind of kind of flows, and I've had it for a couple years now. It's me. Um, eyes are blue. My eyes are awesome. So you really can't make fun of those. And if you can, I don't care. But you know, because they're blue, they're awesome. Um, my face sometimes breaks out. Acne happens. Yes, given to me in my twenties. Obviously, it ain't teenage acne anymore. It's mainly just stress. Whatever. I mean, I live in Hawaii. You probably don't. So it's cool. You can be a hater that way too. Um, so usually like on, on hot sweaty days I'll, I'll have like some acne going on, whatever, had it before. The days that I'm stressing or I've been stressed out, again, some more acne, don't care, had it. Um, yes, I know my smile is not the best, my smile actually really sucks, I hate my smile, but can't do much about it, it's a genetic disease that runs through my family, I pretty much screwed on that one. Um, both sides, mother and my father, crappy teeth, can't help it. I mean, I've, I've tried. I, I brush my teeth every day, twice a day. I floss, I use mouthwash, try my best. You know, I go to the dentist when I'm supposed to. Up until about a year ago, it was a long story though. But still, I, I have the genetic disease in my family, so I can't like omit it. So obviously, I don't have a good smile. Um, my teeth are really crappy. It came with the disease. I don't have that many downfalls. I mean, I can still eat, still talk, to smile, still chew, etc. Whatever. I mean, whatever. Um, this one is fake. As you can see, it's kind of darker than the rest. It also cost me $1,500 for that fake tooth that doesn't match. I mean, I have to pay another $500 to finish it off, but. I'm not quite that much money just to pull out my pocket and go, oh, let's fix it. I mean, I have something there, and I'm not, like, redneckish. No offense to the rednecks that are watching. But, you know, like, I did put forth the effort. I do have something. Um, let's see, any more flaws? Um, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm not, like, chunky or anything, but I got my curve. Good curves. I'm dropping stuff. Hold on. I got, you know, the whole hourglass thing, but, you know, if I stand sideways, I got like a little belly, but whatever. I got a little bit of love going on. I mean, it's not a lot. I only weigh like under 25 pounds. Obviously, it's not a lot of love going on, but. Oh, shit. <laughs> Anyway, I'm watching Teen Mom too, so that's kind of on the corner. So, you know, I have a little belly, whatever. I do P90X. I work out. I do what I can. Obviously, I'm trying to better myself, so y'all can hate on me. I mean, whatever, if it makes you feel better about yourself. I, I hope that you are 
beautiful on the inside because obviously you're ugly on the outside. So you make fun of people like that. Mm -mm. Um, that's all I gotta say about that. I mean, haters gonna hate, but they still give you views. Haters only got the spotlight for 10 minutes. They 10 minutes came. Woo. Love your haters. So I love my haters. Love my stalkers. They maybe not so much the stalkers, but they're there. They're review videos. Um, love the comments. So keep the hate coming. Thanks.